They are the 21 victims of what remains one of the deadliest unsolved crimes ever committed on British soil. For 44 years, no one has been successfully brought to justice for two bombs in two pubs in Birmingham city centre. But today, fresh inquests into the deaths heard evidence about who was responsible. A former IRA volunteer known only as Witness O claimed James Gavin, Mick Murray and Michael Hayes were all involved in the bombings, along with Seamus McLaughlin, said to be the commanding officer who selected the targets. It's the first time they've ever been named in a formal setting like this. The witness said he had authority from the current head of the IRA to identify them. And he was asked about a fifth man, Michael Patrick Riley. No, I don't remember him at all, he said. The barrister asked, he's the one you're protecting, isn't he? The witness replied, who? Protecting who? No. No one has been charged with involvement in the bombing since the Birmingham Six were freed 28 years ago. Campaigners like Julie Hamilton now demand the police investigate those named today. Her sister Maxine was killed in the bombings. I have a letter from the Chief Constable of Westminster Police that states in it that this is a live investigation. As such, we now expect action and we want to know what, where, how and when is happening. West Midlands police say new facts about the bombings are scrutinised to see if people can be brought to justice. But the passage of time and loss of evidence still make that very difficult. Ben Chapman, ITV News, Birmingham.